the safety and security of the people in Bosnia and Herzegovina is very important for the European Union. And when we underlie the European perspective of Bosnia and Herzegovina, we believe that the whole territory should be open to the people, as we just heard, to live, but also to work and to build the future. We already heard a lot of uh, financial values of the projects. I would like to say something in general, as from the end of the war in 96 until today, we have supported uh, 40 uh, the projects in Bosnia and Herzegovina for the mining in the amount of 46 million euros. And right now we have ongoing projects here in the amount of about 7 million euros. Uh, we have, uh, as concerns the seven projects we are right now implementing, one is directly, directly focused on Behamak. Then we have four projects for four non-governmental organizations which are doing the demining. I'm not going to talk more about that because we are going to have a presentation directly from them. It's enough to say that uh, what we are trying to do right now is not only to demine the area, but also to make people come there and to feel safe there and to work, as we heard, to, uh, to really start to use uh, the, the previously mined area. And apart from that, we have one project directly for the uh, mine victims implemented by our partner ASB. And we also have a project for, uh, for education in order to prevent uh, mine accidents to happen. The European Union is of course aware that Bosnia and Herzegovina's mine action strategy has set a very ambitious objective of stating that the final date of the mining in the territory of BIA should be 2019. And we believe that for this more effort needs to be done and more financial resources needs to be, uh, needs to be um, secured. And we just put into, uh, into use the financial resources in the same amount as it is now per year, then this, this objective will not, be, will not be fulfilled, unfortunately. Because the mining is not only the issue of, the, um, of preventing the mine accidents, it's also the issue of improving the tourism in the country. It's also the issue of improving the agriculture in the country. It's the issue of improving the transport possibilities in the country and so on. So here I would like to thank all of you for coming and I would like to uh, give my congratulations to all of the people involved in the projects and wish them success in the future.